With watching this video, you will get familiar with the basic shortcuts of Paint.net and you will be able to work with different layers. Basic controls. For zooming in and out, just hold the control button and scroll your wheel. For moving the view to the right spot, hold the middle mouse button and move the image. By just scrolling the wheel, you can move the image up and down. Adding images. In the first step, we are adding a background picture. Therefore, you can just drag and drop. Otherwise, you can copy your file in the file browser and paste it into paint.net. If the width or height is bigger than your actual paint.net project, you are getting asked if you want to expand your canvas or if you want to keep the size. In our case, the new image has to be the background in full size, that's why we expand the canvas. Layers. Now we want to add some layers to create an invitation for the benediction service of our daughter. Therefore, we add a symbols layer and a text layer by using the layer toolbox. We name the layers by double clicking them. Banner. Now I want to add a smooth banner. Therefore, I will pick the white color, go to shape drawing mode by hitting the O button twice and change to filled mode. By multiple hitting the O button, we toggle between line and shape drawing mode. Now there are two options to get a light transparent banner. At first you may expand the color toolbox and play with the opacity. The other way is to double click on the layer and to adapt the opacity there. Oh, and what is that? We realize we added the banner to the wrong layer. To correct this, set the text layer to the active layer by clicking it once. Now go in rectangle select mode by hitting S. Care. If you hit it multiple, you will swap between rectangle, lasso and the ellipse mode. Then select the banner completely and cut it out by hitting Ctrl X. Set the active layer to symbols and paste by hitting Ctrl and V. Now the banner is on the right layer and we can add some text. Go to text mode by hitting T. Then click on the right spot. We type in the text and change the text size by moving the mouse above the size section and scroll our wheel downwards. After that, we choose our font by moving the mouse over the font section and scrolling the wheel up and down again. I want to add a frame to the invitation. That's why I'm adding another layer, name it frame and go into rectangle mode. I change to draw and not filled and draw a rectangle. The layer order defines the front background. The higher the layer, the more it is in the front. Now I want to add an image of my daughter. I open that image as a new project and delete the background step by step. Therefore, I go to eraser mode by hitting E. I'm starting with a small brush size and getting larger after every step. I'm activating the grid for that by hitting the grid button. For this tutorial, I'm just doing it quick and dirty, but this process is still taking a while. As you can see, you are able to switch back erasing steps by hitting Ctrl and Z. To redo a work step, hold Ctrl, Shift and Y. When we finish the erasing steps, we need to save the image as PNG because JPEG files have no alpha transparency. I highly recommend to work with the simple project folder order as shown. Now we want to copy the baby to our invitation. For that we are going in move selected mode by hitting M. Then we click on the baby once and realize the whole picture gets selected. We are copying it by hitting Ctrl and C and go to the other project. Here we add a new layer and press Ctrl and V. As you can see our little baby is too big for the invitation. So we make that steps irreversible and move to the other project. 
There we adjust the size of the picture by go to image in the upper toolbox and choose resize. Now we are scaling the image down personal and add it again to our invitation. Before finishing I would recommend to add a comment layer. Here you keep record of the used font and size. If you have to adjust the invitation a few days later it could be important to remember these parameters. You can switch the common layer on and off by checking and unchecking the layer. For saving the finished image at the end just turn the layer off. Our rough invitation is finished and we save the paint.net project file as pdn in our project folder by hitting shift ctrl and s. For getting a usable image we just hit these keys again and change the data type to png, jpeg or tiff for example. This picture I would save in a separate folder. I call it rendering. For saving it to that file types the layers have to get flattened. That's why it is important to always save the PDN file. In the description below you find the download link to a shortcut sheet. This sheet gets expanded according to the tutorial series. For getting deeper information follow the next video. If you like our tutorial series please subscribe. Furthermore it is possible to support us on Patreon. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. For further information, please visit our website or get in touch with us.